You are watching Access Support County, Channel 97. Coming up next is November 6, 2024 meeting of the Michigan City Parks and Recreation Board. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportcounty.org. Good evening and welcome to the Michigan City Park Board meeting for November 6th. If you would rise and remove your hats. Repeat the pledge, please. To the flag of the United States of America. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Well, would you please call the roll? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Freeze. Here. Ms. Sperling. Here. Mr. Glidden. Here. Mr. Labus. Here. Hoffman isn't here. We have the minutes from the October 16th uh, meeting. Uh, before you, are there any corrections or additions? to the minutes, if not, they'll have a motion to accept the minutes. I move that we accept the minutes. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. Any project updates, Shannon? There are no project updates, tabled business or new business. Okay, we'll move on to item A. 2025-26 park admit contracts and fees. I have the. Uh, yes, included in your packet are our annual fees and contracts for 2025 and 2026. Um, all of the contractual documents have been reviewed and approved by Attorney Nuremberg as well as General Insurance Company. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. If you do have questions, um, the packet has page numbers on it, so if you could refer to those page numbers, it would be helpful. Uh, does anybody have any comments or questions for Shannon? The only fee increases the annual parking sticker for LaPorte County residents? Correct. Thank you. I thought I wrote down a note, but I guess I didn't. And then, any other questions or comments? In? Uh, I noticed on the first page that there aren't any changes to um, the 16 things that are listed uh, for 25 and also for 2026. And then on the back, the uh, templates. Uh, if there aren't any kind of questions from the public, I doubt if they have a chance to see this. If there aren't any questions or recommendations, do we have a motion to accept the 2025-2026 park admit contracts and fees? I would move that we accept the uh, Michigan City Parks and Rec uh, contracts for uh, 25, 2025 and 2026. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We have uh, resolution number 1055. I'll read the preamble to this. I only have one tonight. Whereas the superintendent of the Department of Parking and Recreation has reported that certain transfers of funds are necessary within the budget of the Michigan City Department of Park and Recreation because of unanticipated expenses from various accounts, which accounts do not have sufficient funds available for disbursement for said expenses. And whereas these are funds available for said purpose in various other accounts, which are not expected to be paid from said accounts during the remainder of the budget year. And whereas the Michigan State Park and Recreation Board has determined that said expenses to purchase food for animals and vet services per ordinance number 2305 is necessary and that account transfer should be made in order to meet said expenses. Therefore, 
the following transfer be made from following name that counts the following name that counts for that purpose stated therein decrease fund two five zero seven point zero 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 concession fund <coughs> Point four five two zero zero interfund operating transfer of eight thousand dollars increase fund two five zero seven point zero zero concession fund for four two two point zero three four zoo food eight thousand dollars do we have any questions uh, about this request with resolution number one zero five five if not do we have a motion to approve this resolution I would move that we approve resolution number 1055. A second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next item is my request. Uh, host house and carriage ride, rides um, for the beach at, at the fish camp. I believe this is. Um, they had the same thing last year, uh, and it looks like the route is the same, and the type of carriage to be used is the same, and the dates obviously are changed. But the um, beginning at the fish camp and ending at the fish camp. Any questions about this request uh, for the host the horse and carriage? the riding during the December, the holiday season. The only thing I saw was on the uh, insurance, <laughs> excuse me, the um, certificate of insurance. The auto policy expires on November 17th, but I don't think that matters for this. I didn't even notice that. Everything else is current. Yeah. I would assume that part doesn't matter, but I just wanted to point that out. Is that uh laura do we need to address that i would defer this to charlie actually but um yeah i didn't catch i didn't know <laughs> yes um yeah i understand why you wouldn't think it would matter because this the, the car is not involved i didn't notice yeah. that before it's weird that they're expiring on different times. Yeah, that is strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, I would um, defer to Shannon to speak, or Will maybe to speak with the insurance carrier about it. I don't see how it would have an impact on us necessarily, but yeah, it's certainly worth checking in. Yeah, I didn't know if that with our insurance company, I know that there's standards that you know people have to have on their insurance. So I don't know if that still has to be there or not. So. Oh. Oh, hi, Nicole. Yeah. Good. The, just under your certificate of insurance, the um, it just showed the automobile policy expires on November 17th of this year. Of the year? Um, year. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. And like I said, I don't know if that matters because you're not using an automobile for your event, but. So the, uh, that is my insurance. And I don't even own that automobile anymore. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think that's burdens. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we hear that are endured by the person I'm some, you know, so mm -hmm. Sure. Certainly follow your powers up, but I don't even own that vehicle anymore. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> How'd it go last year? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Hopefully there's snow, but it's not <laughs> right. So the question then is, has this been approved? Has the certificate of insurance been approved by the general insurance? Will, do you know? Uh, I didn't I didn't go through GIS because this did get approved by the Board of Works, and the Board of Works sent it down to us to put on our agenda. Oh, I see. So I didn't look into it. Uh, yeah, but I mean, we can... Uh, Especially if she doesn't own the vehicle anymore, but if you have a different vehicle and it's a requirement, then we may have to put that on there. Nicole, yeah, would you be able to go to the microphone? Sure, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. There's one back there, too, right? Or do you want to understand why a vehicle? I mean, uh, yeah. I don't understand why my personal vehicle was not listed on COI. <laughs> 
that's very strange. So either that's a mistake, I can forward another COI if you need it. Um, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. But like I said, the insurance company has standards for whoever contracts. Yeah, he had parts. emailed me a week ago about research and renewal for my vehicle. I said, you totaled that six months ago. Yeah. So it was a mistake by McGowan. They already paid me out for the vehicle. Yeah. Right. So, okay. Yeah. It, it probably doesn't matter, but yeah. I just thought it bring it up. Uh, sure. Nicole, you, you, the vehicle is no longer even operating? Correct. It is in a junkyard somewhere. I don't understand why we would need that on there. It's a Right. I don't carriage. either. I have no idea why it's listed yeah. on there. It was clearly an assistant that transposed something incorrectly. Thank you. That would be my take on it. Thank you car isn't even involved. It's the horse and carriage. Right. We'll run it by a general insurance company and if there needs to be an adjustment, we'll get back to you. Yeah, okay, cool. So if you could just vote on contingent. Yes. On sure, guys. Yeah. yeah, totally. That's fine. Will help with that motion then? Um, sure, I would like to move that we approve the uh, awesome horse and carriage rides at the beach again, contingent on the auto portion of the COI. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Okay, so do I need any follow up or what we'll follow up? We'll follow okay. up. Very good. All right, thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> the Beach Toy uh, Library request uh, uh, from Mr. Rampala. Yeah, so we had a beach toy library request for uh, Fetters Alley earlier in the year. And uh, Mr. Impala came in and said that he would like to do another one at Lot 1. Um, he's donated $100 towards the making of it. And Pat said that he and his guys would be able to put that together and put it in Lot 1. Um, I think that the toy libraries are a great idea, so great that I also think that we should put one in Lot 3. Uh, and the senior center a lot just so we cover all the main accesses to the beach. Um, and that would, I mean, cover our beach with what I think is enough toy libraries for right now. So uh, I do think that we should do this. Any other comments? I personally think it's a great idea. It's a and according to his statement here, they, they collect a lot of toys over the course of the summer. Mm -hmm. Uh, any comments from the public? No he's questions. He's here today with a hundred dollars ready to donate. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's not let's not dally on this then. hundred dollars. He's got the money out. I motion to uh, approve the Beach Toy Library request. I'll second that. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much. That's okay. so nice of you. You put you can date it yourself. You put here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank Thanks you. for all the cleanup that you do. That's very nice of you. <clears throat> Next time is uh, Michigan City Special Events um, request and uh, one, two, three. Uh, yes. Five of them here. Oh yeah. So these are just the events that um, the special events are requesting to use the park property for this year. Um, Mr. Terry, greet them to the mic. <laughs> Welcome, Terry. <laughs> Excuse me, Terry, greet them, Michigan City Special Events. Um, so in laying out our 2025 calendar, um, we have the, the five events listed. I believe you have all the events listed in front of you. Uh, the one that we're adding this year is the Juneteenth celebration. Uh, Mayor Angie has asked us, along with the Park Department, to take over the Juneteenth celebration. So we're adding that for Thursday, June uh, third. Excuse me, June nineteenth. Uh, the only change that we would like to request from the list you have in front of you is currently it reads Singing Sand Sand Sculpting Festival, June thirteenth through fifteenth. Uh, we would like to change that date if possible and move it to Friday, July eighteenth through Sunday, July twentieth. This was previously the date held by the Aquacross uh, jet ski racing, which is no longer happening. 
uh, our reason, reason for wanting to move this event. Uh, there's a few reasons. Number one, we're kind of getting tired of the spring storms that we're getting in June. Uh, they haven't been very good to us. Uh, in addition, the first weekend in June is, again, a little bit too early. The second weekend in June, which is the, uh, I believe it's the 6th, 7th, and 8th, Michigan City High School graduation is on the 8th. We'd rather not go up against high school graduation. The weekend that we have listed, Friday, uh, June 13th through June 15th, is Pride Fest in Washington Park on, I believe, the 14th. And certainly we don't want to go up against that. That's going to put a lot of pressure on the park. Uh, so we feel moving it to July 18th through the 20th is going to work well. Um, we've grown that event pretty significantly over the last few years and feel like moving it more towards the summer where we've got more of our, our tourist crowd in Michigan City, uh, hopefully better weather conditions. Uh, and then again, having an open weekend there, we feel that's the right weekend to do it. So again, the events would be the East Drake Hunt, uh, Saturday, April 19th. The Singing Sand Sand Sculpting Festival would be July 18th through July 20th. Juneteenth celebration, June 19th. The Fireworks Spectacular, Friday, July 4th, and Oktoberfest, Labor Day weekend, August 29th through September 1st. Gary, the, um, I have the July 18th to 20. Would that then move your setup time to the Monday previous to that? Yes. Um, our, our setup would start on Monday, July 14th, and then our teardown would be Monday, July 21st. And okay. for the last three years, we've always been able to get everything cleaned up and out of the way uh by the end of the day that monday any other comments or questions from the any from the audience if not is there a motion then to accept the uh, request for the special event dates uh as printed before you for not uh, for 2025 i would move that we accept the michigan city special event dates i'll second it all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you very Good much. Luck. I hope yeah. the rain stays away this year. We have the uh, 2025 Park Department open accounts. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. I think I counted 100 and some of them. To remind the board, our policy um, dictates that we bring a list of all accounts that um, we're able to charge to for your approval. Um, so it's quite an extensive list, but again, these are accounts that employees can charge to. We do have a list of employees that are allowed to charge to a, accounts. Um, and then, of course, when employees leave, we diligently remove them from accounts and they're not, no longer able to charge. So just your annual approval, please. Any questions on the, the open accounts? If not, do we have a motion to accept? One motion to accept the 2025 department open accounts list. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And I know we talked about this and it was in the paper about the 2025 bike to city dates. Uh, now, did you, uh, was that the same thing you had this year when you went on your trips? Uh, the bike ride, yeah. 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 So, um, really, everything else that we're about to go to, I've been telling you guys that I've been trying to plan for 2025, and it's my goal to put out a event calendar uh, sometime in December of what's going to happen in 2025. Um, so, completing this whole list of Bike to City dates for next year, it's exactly what that is. It's no cost to the park department. Um, it's just community bike rides. And already, these dates have already been approved with the uh, Michigan City Police Department that they'll accompany us on these days. Uh, how was the success, success rate pretty high? For yeah, so um, I can't remember exactly how many rides we went out on, about six or seven this year, maybe eight. And the attendance was anywhere between 12 to 35. Huh? We had a couple of big rides that we went on. So it was good. I mean, the people, I would probably, 10 people came every time and we really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, even now with the trail hikes that, that they turned into, it's been 
a good time for whoever shows up. Well, it looks like you thought it through the, just in case there's a home football game on the fifth. Any questions uh, about the 2025 Bike the City rides? Anything from the public? You have a motion then to accept the 2025 uh, dates for the bike ride as presented before you. I move that we accept the 2025 bike to city dates. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I like this next title 2025 Summer City Sweat Program. <laughs> So yeah, this is another uh, program renewal. We started this year with the Summer City Sweat uh, program, which included the Saturday morning workouts, um, the the yoga sessions through the week and the uh, route of the week. Um, this year, we're gonna add another workout that's a little bit more uh, inclusive. Um, a local trainer by the name of Aubrey Clifton, who also owns like a Herbalife store, MC Health, I think it's called. Um, she does monthly challenges pretty much every month with uh, citizens who sign up, and she's agreed to teach an inclusive workout class once during the week. Um, so just expanding the Summer City Sweat program a little bit more, making it more available to everybody. Thank you. When they, uh, the participants and say on Saturday, this the total, total fitness. I know this is intense physical outdoor work. Do they have to have a certificate of health or they just come on their own? Uh, we haven't made them have a certificate of health yet. Um, every year, those guidelines are going to get a little bit tighter. I mean, with a new program, we couldn't get off the ground fast enough to have everything, but uh, we do have online waivers that get signed on the sign. Uh -huh. Um, and maybe down the line we can, I mean, the waiver is the important part, I think, but making sure that the kid is healthy is also good. So if you'd like to require, uh, require a physical, but that's not require physicals for baseball though. You mean the summer league? Yeah. I would, that was my question coming up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to release cup colors and stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think because you have a form in there for the parents to sign, right. so that would be a really yeah, yeah. Any other questions or comments? You have a motion to accept the twenty twenty five summer city sweat program. I move that we accept the twenty twenty five summer city sweat program. Sir, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. And the next item is uh, city going uh, going up on Tuesday. You <laughs> said that pretty well. Yeah, going. Um, so this uh, is an event that kind of focuses on the citizens of Michigan City, I think, uh, with a Tuesday night uh, music party type situation thing. I just... Uh, you know, I'm focused on things that can different ways to bring the community together. And I think that open space, good music, uh, food trucks and just community being there, dancing, fellowshipping together. Um, and every other week, this music party had turned into a movie in the park. Um, at first, we had it. I think the version that you have of this, we had it where it was going to be June at North Point Pavilion, July at the 7th Street Plaza in August at um, Millennium Park. But after rethinking this, I think the whole thing is just gonna be at the amphitheater every week. So it's one location that everybody knows to go to. This is where the music will be at. This is where the movie will be at every other week. And uh, the, this the whole program is kind of unfinished, but I'm looking for sponsorships for the program. So I want to get approved so I can get it approved to look for the sponsorships as well. Cool. <laughs> That sounds a great idea. Yeah, me too. I like the idea. Is supervision going to be needed? Do I do um, I have, I've talked to Marty already, and he told me to just let him know, and he'll have people down. Oh, okay. The city event, yeah. 
Um, and I mean, we plan on looking for local bands and acts that will want to perform during these times. So uh, not just a place for people just to go, but for local acts to get some um, publicity, get out a little bit and get the name back. So good idea. Yeah. Any uh, comments or questions from the public? Do we have a uh, motion to accept the dates? We're sitting going up on a Tuesday. I love how you say that. <laughs> I move we accept the 2025 city going up on a Tuesday dates. <laughs> Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we had the Michigan City Chess Club. Uh, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Having been a chess player myself, it's kind of a chance to relax. Yeah. Anyhow, it's, uh, I like the benefits that could be derived from something so like this. Um, and it'll be at Memorial Hall, so inclement weather shouldn't have anything to do with it. Uh, do you do you have a number, a limited number? Uh, um, I no, right now we don't have a limited limited number. I, I want people to show. I re, I remember having chess club as a kid with at Marsh School with like a hundred uh -huh. people in the uh, library there, and I would love for us to somehow get back to that Krieger Memorial. We can have two full floors of people playing chess. So yeah. Whoever wants to come, going to be able to come. A um, uh, couple people that were talking to about heading, being the head over chess club, wanted to make sure that it was like a, it was actually going to happen. So presenting it, getting it approved, and then I'll actually interview a few people that wants to be in charge and build the chess club. I wanted to build to a place where we have chess tournaments and stuff like Rock, Roscoe said, and it uh, be a strong staple in the city. Yeah, I like the idea. I hope it gets off the ground. Me too. <clears throat> Will you um, let go to the elementary schools, high schools, and with a flyer about this? Uh, yeah, we'll definitely do a peach jar drop to try to get up to all the parents. And I mean, I make regular, pretty regular school visits anyway. So yeah. I'll always drop uh, any events that we have. And again, something like this going on a uh, a calendar that can show we have chess club regularly every month. I mean, I think people will want that's something people want to see the consistency of the bit. And we might think that you know, maybe this is just for school age kids, but adults could participate also. Yeah, no age range. Bring them in. Cool. Yeah. Another great idea. I move that we accept the uh, Michigan State Chess Club proposal. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion yeah, kick. good idea. Motion and kick. next, and another good idea, I hope it gets <laughs> off the ground, is the Michigan City Track Club. And um, Yep, so uh, being in touch with the school, the high school a lot, and a lot of different youth groups, I found out that we have more than 10 kids traveling to Gary to be a part of their summer youth program, or get summer youth track program where they compete in AAU and stuff. Um, about two years back, uh, Micaiah Smallwood and myself, um, who's a local track athlete, uh, looked into starting something like this, but just couldn't, he was going through a uh, job shifts and it wasn't exactly where my focus was at the time. So we kind of let it fall through. Um, but he recently came back and is now uh officer for the police, the Michigan city police department. And we've talked to Marty to work out a plan where we partner to do track club for the city. Um, uh, we have a lot of track talent, like collegiate track talent that came out of the city and they all want to give back to help. And I think we can build a nice program right here that benefits the city as a whole. Um, you know, young kids all the way through the high school program. So, yeah, just trying to fill another need. Would you be able to use the high school facilities? Uh, yeah, me, uh, um, I call him Coach Mo Coach Moore, um, the athletic director at the high school now. Oh, we have, Mo. Yeah, Mo. <laughs> we have talked about it. Uh, but yes, either, but I've also talked to YMCA about using the track at the Y as well. So 
having the two locations give us options mm -hmm. just in case when it's closed for whatever reason. Are yeah. we waiting until school's out to do this? Or are you going to start in the spring? Uh, we will probably we will wait till the summer since spring yeah. is track season. Cool. Yeah. Be good for our kids just to go right into not having a gap, you know, get oh, done yeah. with the season and go right into that. And I know we're using, you have boys, girls, unified and middle school all using the track. So if you do it in the spring, it's going to be even tighter out there. But yeah, it'd be good for our kids that they can, once, once track season's over, middle school, high school, they can go right into this and not take a break and keep moving. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. I motion to approve the Michigan City Track Club proposal. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The 2025 Youth Baseball League packet and uh, the, the uh, explanation about the, the pay is in red and easy to understand. And someplace, somebody, well, yeah, the page four or five, the medical consent is there. And also the breakdown uh, T-ball for boys and girls and baseball uh, for boys and girls, great, or age group 7, 8, 9, and 10, softball girls only. Any questions or comments? I, being a baseball guy, I just think this is a great idea. Uh, Do you have any comment? Will? Yeah, I'd like to say just right now we have girls softball on here. But we're waiting for the high school to pick their new softball coach um, to plan out what our plan is for softball. We, the last few years, we haven't come close to forming a team to, for softball. It is our hope that if we get enough to form a team, that we can put a Michigan City team in the LaPorte Softball League as one group. So at least they can play together. Um, but if we don't get that, we will at least start to have softball clinics so the girls that do want to play can get training to become better. That's awesome. Good. Uh, but we don't, I mean, I, I don't want to just keep offering here and we just continue to keep failing and we would like to build up the sport, whatever way we can. Any questions, comments? Motion then to excuse me, accept the 2025 Youth Baseball League packet. I move we accept the 2025 Youth Baseball League packet. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. The uh, Trail Creek Fields, the uh, Memorandum of Understanding. Uh, I've read through it. I don't have any questions? Yeah, the only only thing that changed in the contract was the dates, the year. Yeah. Anybody have any other comments? Do we have a second uh, motion to, and then a second to accept the packet? I move we accept the twenty twenty five Trail Creek Fields Memorandum of Understanding. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. The 2025 Michigan State Department of Food Truck Agreement. And this yeah. uh, looked like the same one we had last year, except the date. Yeah, so um, it's almost the same one that we had last year. It is, it's been configured to last year, it was just for Food Truck Thursday. So it's specific to Thursdays and three locations. Uh, this opens it up so it can be available at any park location on any day. And that's the only change were the locations and the dates. Okay. So now it's just a blank where we got to fill in the date and the location. Um, but there is a plan to have more food trucks on park property. There's actually a 58 different options right now for food trucks between June and August. 58? 58. Oh. Monday, Sunday, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and maybe Saturdays. 
<laughs> so how does that work then? Like you just put it out there to all these vendors. Like, do you want to pick a day? Do you, do you limit it each day? Or if three say, I'll do it Sunday, every Sunday, then you'll say, okay. Or um, So I guess I should attach that to this. Um, <laughs> so I did come out with a list um, and each, like each day is a separate it's called category or heading and it will have all the days listed under that category so one of the days is munchy mondays that we call it so all the mondays are listed and the way the um instructions read you can't have consecutive weeks mm. if you add monday if you add monday to first you can't have monday to eighth you have to skip to mm. monday to 15 mm -hmm. to have another one um the contract it also said not the contract but the sheet also says that um we're looking for a variety in what we're doing and have the right to tweak things around how we see fit early on. And um, so far, nobody's complained about what we've done. Mm -hmm. That's great. <laughs> so it's, it's been a good response so far about people who wanted to get in. So I'm excited about uh, as hard as it was for us to get people to do Food Truck Thursdays right. last year. It's nice to have a good response that so people want to get in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's awesome. And this, and this was approved by Laura and uh, General Insurance. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments from the public? Do we have a motion then to accept the 2025 uh, food truck agreement? I move that we accept the 2025 Mission City uh, food truck agreement. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And uh, item G is uh, a letter that uh, to uh, different businesses uh, or clubs or um, as far as being a sponsor for um, uh, there's things listed here, youth baseball, Patriot Park banners, uh, youth equipment, uh, just uh, everything we had talked about before. As for and a, and a um, cost, I, I do have one question. Well, if um, like the gentleman that uh, just gave you a hundred dollar check, yes. Uh, let's say, for example, I'll use myself. I, I want to sponsor or want to give some money to youth baseball, but I don't have four hundred dollars. Could I give hundred, two hundred? Or whatever, uh, and or just give it to the park department. Let them assign it wherever it needs to go. Yes, uh, um, all donations are accepted by the park department um, for an open donation, or you can earmark it for a specific thing. Like if okay. you wanted it just for youth baseball, you could donate fifty dollars to the park department, earmarked for youth baseball. That's the only question I have. Um, yeah, so. Like I said earlier, all of these um, different programs and events that were approved today, I approved them. Shannon told me that if I wanted to do advertising, I had to be approved by the park board. Um, so getting all those approved, so I can go out and find some funding to help us with some of these uh, programs and events uh, is the reason that it's so many <laughs> on today's agenda. Do you have a potential list that you would send of companies or people you would send this letter to or just a uh, kind of should... so I actually uh I'm going to send it to the first thing I'm gonna do is going to send it to the Chamber of Commerce and have them put out an email blast to every all the members in the chamber mm -hmm. um and then we'll wait a couple of weeks to see what we get back then we'll move forward from there we we'll don't hear <clears throat> um and there's already been about four companies that's kind of reached out uh, us the end of the year. We have some extra money to give away. Like what sponsorship opportunities do you have? So again, that's another reason why this came up. Everybody asked for it. So I wanted to get approved before I put mm -hmm. it out there to start Sounds responding. Great. Yeah, the park Patriot Park banners, they just stay up the entire season, don't they? Um they do stay up the entire season. Um, it seemed like the banners out there, they do step to start, start to see. We kind of um, erased the program that was there before. Had it been looked over the last couple of years, but 
uh, just refreshing it up a little bit and getting the banners drawing, not just on the end, I mean, outfield, but some in the infield as well. And around the concession stand, there'll be some advertising as well. Just trying to maximize what we can. Mm -hmm. uh, not to talk too much about baseball, but I know you, in the past, they'd always received a, a T-shirt with their, do they still get that with the sponsor's name on there? You know, uh, yeah, remember actually, I played for Dairy Queen. I had a red and white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we went away from giving away the T-shirts to the sponsors, but we give them plaques. They get a plaque with a team picture on there. Oh, sure. Yeah, so they get a picture of the whole team that they had for that year. And uh, thank you for sponsoring uh, 2024 New Faith Ball Team. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, any other questions for Will at this time? If not, do we have a motion to accept a 2025 sponsorship offering letter that uh, he intends to send out? I would move that we accept the 2025 sponsorship offerings. Second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Superintendent's report. Shannon, you have words of wisdom for us? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'd like to report that on October 28th, sorry, on October 28th, we hired Allie Mellon to fill our vacant administrative assistant position. Um, Allie graduated from Indiana University's Kelly School of Business in August of 2023, and she also holds many um, social media and marketing certificates. So we're very happy to have her um, on board full time. She did serve as our seasonal golf manager successfully this past year. Um, so I'd just like to welcome her to the team. I think she's going to be um, an asset to us. I attended the mayor's leadership training courses, um, which were full days held on October 3rd and 17th. Those were interesting um, communication building and team building skill courses that all of the city managers had to take. So I um, actually got a lot out of them. So it was time well invested. A couple of weeks ago, I met with Healthcare Foundation CEO and President um, Eric DeWald and Vice President Jessica Mace to remind the board they gave the Park Department $250,000 as a grant award for maintenance of the upcoming Fetters Alley All-Inclusive Playground and Fitness Park. Um, we've never gotten a grant, <clears throat> pardon me, for maintenance before. So I'm like really excited that we're going to have a new project that actually has a long-term funding source for any repairs, maintenance, upgrades. And um, so I did, did discuss a maintenance agreement with them. Uh, Laura reviewed and approved that. Um, I appreciate that, thank you. So that will be on your next um, meeting agenda for approval. However, we need to also set up a Unity Foundation fund to manage this money. They will not give it directly to the park. So the Unity um, agreement has been reviewed and that will be on your next agenda as well. So thank you, Health Foundation of Report, for their uh, generous grant. <clears throat> Last week, I hosted a site visit at Water Tower Park with the Land and Water Conservation Fund grant team. So they were very pleased with the project. Um, one minor revision needed to be made underneath one of the ADA drinking fountains. Uh, the concrete platform wasn't wide enough, so we're going to have to add like 16 inches of concrete. No big deal. Other than that, um, we got an A plus on it. They're very excited that they invested money in the project and they're looking forward to being invited to a ribbon cutting, which um, I'm looking at probably April of 2025. The project isn't quite done yet. Uh, the remaining equipment and picnic shelter are installed now. And on Monday, they'll start pouring safety surfacing. That's a three or four day project. Then everything will be cleaned up, the equipment power washed, um, but then we're right into the holidays. So I think we're better off just postponing that until spring when all the grass and the plants have filled in and the park looks great. Uh, LaPorte County is working on a countywide trail master plan to make sure all of the communities um, kind of have the same vision moving forward. So they did ask Pat Boltz and I both to sit on their advisory steering committee, and we attended um, our first meeting with them last week. 
Lastly, I met with Amtrak last week regarding the rail crossing on phase three of Singing Sands. Um, there'll be some contracts moving forward regarding that construction, um, but I did express the city's apprehension in signing any agreements with Amtrak right now because of the agreement we signed with them um, for the crossing at phase one. Those deliverables were due to us eight years ago this month. And we still have not received those, nor have we received a refund of the money we paid for them to do the design work and provide the drawings, costs, and uh, specifications. So this will be um, interesting moving forward. I did send them the correspondence logs that I have kept since 2017, detailing every email, phone call, and meeting, who was there, what was discussed, um, so it paints a very clear picture of what happened and where we're at. Um, I will say in Amtrak's defense of the team that I met with, a lot of them were not involved with phase one, so they're not even aware of the situation we're in. Um, so I'm going to give them a couple of weeks to review those correspondence logs and the contracts. Um, and then we're going to meet in three weeks because I... I express, express the city's interest in getting the phase one crossing constructed. Um, we want a safe crossing, and that should be Amtrak's very, very top priority. Um, so I'm hoping that in working through phase three, that maybe we will finally get something moving on phase one. Can, can I interrupt for a second? Where's the phase one crossing at? Um, just west of Brant's. Right. There is a problem there. Okay. And right. the phase three so crossing. Concrete barriers and the trail just ends. Right. And the phase three crossing is at Carwick Road? Correct. All right. Thank you. And it has there been any progress I mean, with the city of oh, uh with the city attorney, with a lawsuit, anything like that? With or yeah, it's been discussed. And the sad part about this is, you know, the city shelled out about around eighty thousand dollars yeah. to, to get the crossing engineered by Amtrak. And because of their eight year delay on their deliverables, we lost over a million dollars in construction funding. Mm -hmm. So even if they come back to the table with the drawings for us to go out to bid, we don't have any money to construct it. Mm -hmm. um, I did talk to their government affairs officer who's located in Chicago um, in October of last year. And he, you know, he asked, what can we do to rectify this with the city? And I told him, build the crossing. Yeah. You know, I'm not being sarcastic here. Mm -hmm. Pony up the money and build the crossing right. because you caused us to lose that much money. Right. And time. So it's been, you know, a safety issue for that. That long. Um, one other item. I brought this up to the park board, but I'm going to ask you to vote on this. Um, I think it was back in 2021. The Michigan City Public Art Committee had proposed a few locations to install the sculpture off the diet, which we own. And we brought up, I know the greenhouse, I think at one point was voted on. And then the art committee decided that wasn't a visible enough location. So then they wanted it at the senior center. It was on one of your agendas last year, but you never voted on it. And I think it's because this uh, sculpture actually kind of broke off this base. There's pins attaching it, so it wasn't safe to just install it. Um, but we have found a way to mount this in concrete to make it stable. So I would like the board um, to consider allowing us to place that in the Merrim Grass Garden on the west side of the entrance to the Cedar Center. Mm -hmm. We need a, a motion for that. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, motion to allow the art committee to set their sculpture west of the main entrance of the senior center on the Merrill grass. So moved, Mr. President. I'll second it. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. And I have no vandalism to report. Good. Will, do you have uh, a report? Yes. Um, our next trail hike will be November 17th at 3 p.m. at Hanson Park. Uh, that's Sunday, November 17th at 3 p.m. at Hanson Park. We'll be heading on the Singing Sands Trail. 
Um, uh, make sure you go to check out our new um, Park and Rec newsletter that came out, Lakeside Life. Uh, go to mclakesidelife.beehive.com to reach out uh, to see that. We also have it posted on our Facebook page, and there's a link on the city website. Um, we we are put putting a pause on the men's basketball league. Um, we're actually going to reformat how we do it. It was an idea from a couple of the teams that signed up that said they were having uh, struggles having people commit to it. Um, in the this winter league, I think we're going to do individual signups and have a draft in today. So I'll be writing up a proposal to start that sign up instead of the team. Um, so that's that. Uh, next week, Melissa Moore and I will start working on. Uh, we kept, we've been looking for a new online management software. We currently use Sports Conductor or Jarvis. And uh, just, we just had a, a more than a few issues with them and looking for a new a new program that can um, host the app as well as the online service. So it's more it's easier to um, access for modern use. Um, also looking to put our facility rentals online. Um, and that's something that Jarvis would have been able to do. Um, <laughs> oh, and you all just you all just approved uh, the sponsorship packet. We have a sponsorship agreement here. <laughs> Don't forget that one. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the company Medwise, MDWise, would like to donate $1,800 to be the helmet sponsor for the Youth Baseball League. Um, this will purchase a minimum of 50 new baseball helmets with jaw guards for our baseball league. Um, the MDWise logo will be put right on the forehead of the helmet. Um, it's a three-year agreement, and if and that's it, we appreciate them. Uh, uh, helping the youth program out um, for equipment that's very much needed right now. Do we need a motion to accept this? Yes. Money already. Uh, we don't have the money already. This uh, this is agreement because it's a. Uh, because it's an advertising thing where we're going to be <clears throat> posting the logo somewhere, it has to be approved by the board. Oh, yeah. okay. My motion to approve the agreement between MDYs for the helmets and the park board. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Post. Motion carried. And that's all I. Uh, Mr. Hoffman's not here. Port Authority, we could have a meeting Monday. Uh, attended, but there wasn't anything for us. And the uh, next meeting will be the 18th of this month. Mr. Good, the zoo. The Zoological Society hasn't met recently, and I don't think they'll meet until December. Okay. Attorney's report? Nothing to report. Thank you. Any director's report, Shannon? Yes, Mr. Good, Department of Finance. The, I have the Michigan City Park Department claims docket for November 6, 2024, municipal, $101,221.69, golf petty cash, $1,354.10, total claims, $102,575.79, and I would move that we meet this claims docket. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I have two payrolls. <laughs> Payroll number 21, 9, 29, 24 through 10, 12, 24, pay date 10, 18, 24. Total payroll $89,014.22. I would move that we accept this payroll. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I have the payroll number 22. Um, 10 13 24 to 10 26 24 pay date 11 1 24 total payroll 84,211 dollars and 49 cents 
And I would move that we accept this payroll. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I have uh, gifts and donations. From Ivy Tech, Zoo Donation Booth Sponsor, $220. MC Christ Church, Zoo Donation Booth Sponsor, $350. WIX.com, Zoo Donation, Online Donation, $176.12. Unknown Zoo Donation, Miscellaneous, $82. Life Strategies, Zoo Donation, Booth Sponsor, $350. I'll move that we accept these generous gifts and donations. Second. All the favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Most care. Minor transfers to uh, the fund 2508.000 golf fund. Decrease account gasoline, $3,000. Decrease account diesel, $5,000. Increase account pesticides, $8,000. And I have uh, also the Senior Center Fund, 2204.506. Decrease account electric, $3,000. Increase account EAP services, $285. Increase account contractual, $2,715. I would move that we accept these minor transfers. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I have the zoo, endo and zoo endowment invoices totaling $8,544.25 were paid to Lowe's. Red Barn fence repairs, $3,896.69. Penny Machines USA Penny Press, $4,647.56. I would move that we accept these invoices. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Board of Works invoices totaling two hundred twelve hundred two hundred twelve hundred four hundred sixty nine dollars and thirty cents were paid to the Board of Works meeting, Michigan City, the City of Michigan City Singing Sands Trail one hundred seventy three thousand eight hundred seventy seven dollars, and Wreath Riley Construction Memorial Hall retainage thirty eight thousand five hundred ninety two dollars and thirty cents. I would move to accept these invoices. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Credit card charges uh, totaling $1,197.60 were paid to corporate payment systems for the following a Marriott Hotel for Zoo ZAA conference hotel stay. That was $1,197.60. And I would move to accept these credit card charges. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Is that it, Mr. Glenn? Yes, sir. <laughs> Any comments though, from the public? Any final comments from the board? Abby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, he, did he send one for us? Uh, our next uh, board meeting will be Wednesday, November 20th at 5 o'clock here. Uh, have a motion to adjourn. Salute. Great job, everybody.